I am sick of it, George. I am sick of mending and making do. If you earned a proper wage, we might be able to afford some decent furniture for a change. Shut your trap. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Shut your trap. It's running tomorrow, two thirty at Newmarket. <laughs> well, it had better be. <clears throat> oh. Well, for a moment there, George. Your life hung by a thread. Yeah, I've got a bet on it, see? It's the, uh, it's the second leg of my accumulator. I've got three legs altogether. Yeah, most of the horses you back have three legs, George. <laughs> oh, not this time, Mildred. The first one's already won. This afternoon, one o'clock. Came in ten to one. Oh, yeah, what happened? Did it run backwards? <laughs> no, I've got about eight quid on Shut Your Trap tomorrow, see? Yeah, look. There we are. Hey. Yeah, number seven. Same as my birthday. Hey, it's an omen. Yeah, and he's a golden. Oh, another omen. <laughs> Furthermore, he hasn't got handicap. Well, it depends which way you look at that, George. <laughs> well, he won't be carrying any extra weight. Yeah, so you said. Look, George. <laughs> why don't you just ask the Social Security people to send your money straight to the bookie and cut out the middleman? Oh, that's not fair, Mildred. I have come up once or twice. Once or twice, yes. <laughs> There you are. That hides that greasy little mark of yours. Oh, it's only hair all. Oh, George, I don't know why you bother. It's like spreading lawn food on concrete. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this furniture, just a bit worn, that's all. A bit worn? If I shampoo that carpet once more, you'll be able to read the newspaper underneath. Shut your trap. Oh, you are using that. <laughs> <sighs> Cheers. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's nice to relax. Just the two of us. Well, two and two thirds of us. Is Tristram asleep? Oh, yes. Just looked in on him, out like a light. What did you want me for, Daddy? <laughs> well, he looked asleep. Can I have a drink of water? No. Can I have some of that wine? <laughs> no! Why aren't you asleep? I was thinking, if Daddy put the baby in your tummy, where did he get it from? <laughs> <coughs> Harrod's baby department. Oh, that's not what Michael at school said. <laughs> uh, I see. What did Michael at school say? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> oh, you're still awake? I'm afraid so, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> you have been in that bathroom for over half an hour. Yeah, well, had to wipe the walls down, didn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I uh, switched the electric toothbrush on before I got it in my mouth. <laughs> Toothpaste everywhere. Oh, George. Well, 
Come to bed and tell me all about it. Oh, no, Mildred. I, I thought I'd sit at the dressing table and read for a bit, see? <laughs> Typical. I don't need new furniture. I need a new husband. Well, new furniture costs money, Mildred. Besides, it's not all old. Plenty of life in this bed. Since when? <laughs> Good, solid pre-war British workmanship, this is. Never let you down. <laughs> oh, oh, George! Oh. What was that crash? Next door. Shh, I finally got him off. What? Crash! <laughs> yeah, well, uh, do you think it's damaged, Mildred? <laughs> it's a write-off! Well, not really. If you, if you remove the other leg, it'd be a sort of nice low bed, sort of modern. Oh, and what about these? One cough, I'd go straight out the window. <laughs> That's right, look on the funny side. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, Mildred, I could prop it up with bricks, see? Oh, uh, George! George, leave it! You'll wake up the woodworm. They'll make straight for the wardrobe. We've got to sleep somewhere. Well, we use a spare room. Oh, yeah, but... Oh, no, wait a minute. It's got a single bed. Oh, so? Yeah, well, I mean, you and me, we'll get tangled up. <laughs> i tell you what, there's a settee. You sleep on that and I'll keep in the spare room. Here, I've got a better idea, George. What? You have the settee. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, madam. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. Morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, good morning, Mr. Uh, Father Gill. Yes, we're looking for... Um... A cot, yes. <laughs> We've had quite a run on cots lately. Probably the power cut last March. Right. Yeah. Well, there we are, madam. Drop down side with a safety chain, teething bar rattle wrap fitted mattress, pink, white or blue with optional bunny duck or womble. <laughs> well, uh... Oh, I think we've just got one vote for yes. <laughs> Fancy giving our old bed away. George, I did not give it away. I got a goldfish for it. Mm. Oh, yes, yes. Look, they've got all sorts here, George. Oh, here. They might even have a water bed. What, with your elbows? You puncture it in five minutes. <laughs> yes, that's true. Well, we must be practical, so let's just have a look at the... Bridge. George. Look. Oh, George, God, look. Yeah, that's bigger than the bedroom. Oh, look, George. Black satin fitted sheets. Yeah, oh, no, that's kinky, that is. Oh. <laughs> oh, and look at this headboard. Oh, look, look, look what it says. Incorporate stereo radio. Cool. I can lie there in the morning and have Terry Wogan coming at me both sides at once. <laughs> now, oh. where we put it, and have to sell the house to afford it. Yes. Yes, you're right, George. Yes, we've got to be practical, so we must just... Oh, George. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, I've always wanted to sleep in one of these, George. Oh. Oh, and look at the little frill on the outside, look. I don't Ooh. like frills on a bed, Mildred. No. <laughs> oh, George. Oh, this is heaven. Oh, come down here. Come on, come and, come and join me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, here, here, here. <laughs> Yeah, you are going to behave yourself, aren't you? <laughs> so that is one white with duck. Would you like naturalistic or Donald? Oh, naturalistic. Oh, uh, Donald. <laughs> Donald. Donald, yes. Will that be cash, sir? Cash? Oh, I beg your pardon. A count, of course. But that should do nicely. <laughs> Now, when would you like delivery? Preferably before mine. <laughs> oh, George, it's so cosy, isn't it? I mean, it's that... George. Wow. You've still got your shoes on. So? <laughs> we'll get in touch just as soon as they come in. <clears throat> yeah, okay. well, thank you, that's fine. Stop that, stop it. Uh, uh, George, <laughs> now, take them off. Now, if you don't take them off, I'm going to take them off for you. <laughs> 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 that is <tickling>. <laughs> 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 Sir! Man! Oh, no, well, I, mean, I, would, I, would, I mean, we would just... Oh, hello, loves, how are you? Mrs. Roper. Uh, uh, we need a new bed, you see, because our old one collapsed last night. Oh! Oh, so that's what all the noise was about. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. Oh, well, if you'll just excuse us, um, uh, could you direct us towards... Ram, uh... sir, first floor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Madam, you've made a wise choice, sir. Very sturdy. You certainly won't get that one to collapse. Well, actually, I haven't decided. And it, it is only £590. I've decided. <laughs> What's the, what's the cheap one called? It is not cheap, George. It's the uh, inexpensive one. A special offer, yes. Follow me. <laughs> of course, they are slightly shop-soiled. Well, what have they been doing on them? Be quiet. <laughs> oh, there you are, madam. Beautiful padded vinyl headboard with beautiful padded vinyl footboard. <laughs> yes, well... Yes, it's, uh... Well, it's... it's new. Well, it's a bit posh, isn't it? Oh, do you think so? We'll take it. Splendid. Will that be a count? Cash? Keep going. HP. I'll get the forms. <laughs> uh, uh, higher purchase. Well, I mean, we can't afford cash, George. Uh, oh. Yeah, uh, oh. Mildred. <laughs> there's something I think you better know. <clears throat> The humiliation of it. I mean, why didn't you tell me you were on a higher purchase blacklist? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a cocktail cabinet, Mildred. I refuse to pay the last instalment because a cigarette burns on it. Uh, you put them there. Yeah. Oh, well, it's the principle of the thing, isn't it? <laughs> so I can't have my new bed after all? No, well, we'll have to have a second-hand one, won't we? Oh, blimey, it's started already. With tea tray coming up on the inside rail and Simon's boy falling back a little. At the last furlong, it's shut your trap and tea tray, neck and neck. I am not going to sleep in a second hand bed. Mildred, that's a second instalment of the accumulator. Simon's boy making a last minute effort, but it's too late and at the post is shut your trap and tea tray with shut your trap winning by half a length. <laughs> tea tray second, Simon's boy third. And here are the starting prices. Hey, Jay! Oh, one! Jay, uh, what's he got? Oh, 11 to 2. That, that means I've got uh, oh, about 40 quid on the third horse tomorrow. Well, really? Well, mm. well, that means if you if it wins tomorrow, well, then you won't need HP. Hey? Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> So you didn't actually buy a bed then, Mildred? No, not yet. No, it all depends on my lover. What, Mr Roper? Good God, no. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a horse. It's a horse court, you see. My lover is running tomorrow at uh, Catterick. Oh, if it wins, I can buy myself a lovely new bed. Oh, how much are you going to put on it? All of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the bet? Mm. Oh, uh, George is seeing to that. It, uh, it's got something to do with his third leg. <laughs> yes. Mind you, with his luck, it'll probably spin off the course or whatever it does. Well, let's see what your stars say tomorrow. Right. What are you? Virgo. Yes. <laughs> a good day for contacting someone who is close to you. Well, that could mean anything. I mean, it could mean that I'd hit him. You will give way to your natural instincts. Then I'm definitely going to hit him. <laughs> you do know, he is complaining because he's having to sleep on the settee. Oh, I might be able to help you there. Huh? It's not dignified, Mildred. Kipping in a sleeping bag in my own bedroom. Well, then go on to the settee. Oh, no. I've got uncut moquette marks all down my legs from last <laughs> night. <laughs> well, then, uh, come with me into the spare bed. It's true, I'm between the devil and the deep blue sea. <laughs> well, make up your mind. Yeah. I'll stick with the deep blue sea. <laughs> anyway, you borrowed it. I reckon you ought to sleep in it. All right, George, I don't mind. If you don't think there's going to be too much of a squash. I didn't mean that. No, I know you didn't. <laughs> How are you supposed to get in here, anyway? You climb into it, George, head first. I zip you up and you suffocate. <laughs> How do you think you get into it? Uh, I haven't used one of these since I was in the Boy Scouts. Uh, dip, 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 dop, dop, dop. <laughs> Snuggle down and shut your gob. <laughs> yeah, well, I remember. I've got me wobble caught in the ship. <laughs> Well, that might explain a lot. <laughs> Here's your cocoa. Oh, tough. Oh. Yeah, had a Boy Scouts knife with uh, two blades, yeah. a corkscrew, an attachment for putting things in horses' hooves. <laughs> you know, George, I can't see you as a Boy Scout. I mean, you haven't got the knees for it. <laughs> I got kicked out in the end for threatening behaviour during Bob a Job Week. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, those were the good old days. Yeah, well, I think I'll get my head down now, Mildred. All right, then, George. Well, good night. Yeah, well, yeah. Aren't you going to ship me up? Oh, all right. Now, look, get into it properly. Right. Put your little hood up. There you go. <laughs> That's right. There <laughs> we are. Got it. Right, right. There's your thing is. Right. There we go. Now. Hey, careful. <laughs> right, George. Well, good night. Good night. We're riding along on a the sun is in the sky. Oh. Morning, Mildred. Morning, love. Hello, dear. I was wondering if you wanted to go to the shops. Well, actually, yes, dear, I do. So do I. Only I can't fit in behind the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on in. It's all right, love. I'll drive you. I could drive if you broke the pedals for me. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, it'll give me a chance to wear my new hat. Look, I made it myself. <laughs> well, I, uh, I had some material left over, you see. Now, now, tell me, what do you think? Honestly, now. Well... She wasn't asking you, Tristram. <laughs> it's very nice, Mildred. Oh, thank you. I think it's... What do you know about hats? <laughs> no, he's right. It's dreadful. All right, come on. Let's go shopping. Go on. How did Mr. Robert get on with the sleeping bag? Well, the last time I looked in on him, he was uh, sleeping like a sack of King Edwards. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my word. Oh, well, another day. <laughs> Oh, mm. oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Mildred! <laughs> Mildred! <laughs> Mildred! Oh, oh God. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Morning, madam. Do I look like a madam? Oh, blimey, the curse of the mummy. It's one pound fifty this week, sir. Well, uh, uh, listen, uh, me, me sip stuck. What? Oh, you don't, no, no, can, can, can you give me a hand? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Mm. Hang on. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this has happened to me once or twice. <laughs> it's very frustrating. <laughs> now, your, uh, your doodars come off. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Well, you're going to need a pair of pliers there, Squire. Oh, and it's still one pound fifty. Well, uh, hell, hang on. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, I don't mention it. It's a bit nippy out this morning, Gov. Mm. Still, that won't bother you. <laughs> you won't be going out. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mildred! 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 Oh, stupid back. Oh, scissors. That's the thing. Scissors. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You've time for a cup of Mildred? Yes, love, of course. Tristram, don't you fire that in the house. Good. Again? <laughs> Do you mind if I listen to the race? Oh, yes, of course. Right. <gasps> oh, <dear. laughs> Would the honourable member for South West care to comment on the plight of ancillary workers in the Bullcock and Allied plumbing industry? You've got the wrong channel. That's a comedy show. <laughs> oh. Lining up for the start of the tough wear fitted carpet chase with Sea Storm, number seven in the crossed hoops and my lover, number two in the sheepskin nose band. And they're off. And come, after a shaky come start, on, see Come on, on my band, lover! Goes into the, Shh, the neighbours will wonder what's going on. <laughs> oh, sorry. Come on, you big radio. <laughs> 
Thank you. We see Storm coming up on the outside and Joy Ginger still holding his lead and it's My Lover. My Lover coming through in a strong finish and at the post, yes, it's My Lover followed by Jolly Ginger and in third place, Sea Storm. I won. I won the treble. Hey. Well, what were the odds? My Lover at five to two. Thank you. <laughs> Two, that's a, oh, God, oh, wait a minute, that's a 10 to 1, uh, 11 to 2, and uh, 5 to oh, oh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> George! George! George, the race! Yeah, you uh, you missed it. Shame, really. What? Yeah. yeah, it's a pity. It lost. It what? You could have used all my winners and have bought a new bed. I see. You'll have to get a cheap second-hand one now. Oh, so this betting slip is worth nothing then, George? Uh, uh, oh, no. Oh, well, then I'll just tear it up, dear. No, 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 no don't do that. I'll, I'll do that later. I'm good at that. Yeah. <laughs> when you've had enough practice. <laughs> so in last day, oh, well, I blame it on our radio. How do you mean? Well, on Anne's radio, it won. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Anne, I wish you wouldn't let him fire these things in the house. Oh, dear. It isn't exactly welcome home. Uh, what's, uh, what's my sleeping bag doing down here? Oh, I lent it to Mr. Roper yesterday. He returned it? Huh. Wonders will never cease. <laughs> George, we might be able to afford some sheets as well. Oh, perhaps those black satin fitted ones. Oh. Be like sleeping in a dustbin liner. Oh. <laughs> George, you have no romance. Uh, we have here what I think you call a winning slip. Oh, yeah. Afternoon, George. Sit. Oh, yeah, touch lucky here, accumulator. Now, let's see how much we owe you. £169. Oh, George! That's, of course, what you owe us, George. <laughs> What? Yeah, well, I had to run a bit up on the slate, didn't I? £168.15, which means that you get 85p. Congratulations. Uh, well, uh, we could buy some ant eggs for the goldfish. 